So my aluminum chassis arrived yesterday and uh, I like what I see. It's, uh, it's fairly nice. I think uh, it'll work. So what I have to do now is, it doesn't really matter which side is the front. And let's see, these will get mounted from the underside, but I need to mark holes. So what I'll do is I'll lay these out and mark them for drilling. And then I need to uh, figure this out. This is, uh, what the hell is this? This is a 72 by 39 millimeters, so I'll have to punch four of these and uh, I'll get those marked out. And then I'll, uh, as long as I have room for everything, I should have room for, let's see here, panel meter. the knob and two binding posts. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, a BNC output on uh, the front for each channel so I can tie in a scope and monitor for ripple and stuff like that. I'm just going to have that as well. So it might be a little crowded here if I only got four inches to do each one. But uh, we'll get it figured out. I'll get some masking tape on here so I don't scratch this up too bad and then I'll uh, mark everything out. But for right now, I'm going to mark out these four and then I can uh, head outside and start drilling so I don't uh, want to get aluminum shavings everywhere on my bench. So I'll do that outside. Still trying to figure out cooling. get something figured out. One thing I notice is the holes aren't perfectly uh, registered. These holes up front here, or the back actually, are okay. These ones are off. I don't know if you can see that. See how they don't? If I flip it over, so it's, it's out by couple millimeters. I just got to keep that in mind when I'm doing my layout here because these boards will be flipped over and mounted from below. So I'll have to uh, use this as my template I guess. An upside down board and then I can space this out properly and mark it out. The other thing I got to do is cut a bottom here because I didn't buy one from the cheapskate. So I'll need something that is 10, and a half centimeters by uh, roughly 24 and a half. 42 and a half by 20, I'll make it 25. 25 by 25 by 43. I'll cut a sheet of aluminum. Okay, I'm just working out the front panel placement. I'm trying to get everything scrammed. I, actually, uh, more than I think about it, uh, I don't have much real estate in the front panel, I'll tell you. So, I have four cutouts for the meters, and I squished them all this way because I want to leave a little bit of room uh, for a power switch and maybe a panel mount fuse holder on this end because if I evenly spaced them there would be no room for a power switch anywhere on this thing. So what I did is I mounted the panels meters as high up as I can before they hit the board and um, so that's where they put they put them pretty much in the center of the of the front and uh, what I was thinking of doing is having a BNC the binding posts and then the uh, Tenter and pot all in a line here, but that's really 
I thought about it and I think I decided against it. What I want to do is put the binding posts on the bottom of the meter, have the 10 turn pot here, and then have a BNC connector here. Um, I probably won't drill the binding posts here because they're a little too far apart. I'm going to move them closer together just for the fact that uh, this binding post is probably closer to this one than it is to this one. You know what I mean? I just want to close uh, close these up and balance it out better. So I'll do that. Um, I'll just move these marks and then I'll remark the rest of them. Uh, cut out the big four holes and get all the other drilling done and then uh, that's pretty much it for for now. Uh, I got the top drilled for all the boards and I got a Oh yeah, check this out. Aluminum plate, it's like two mil thick, two millimeters thick, with a great big cool sign on it. So I'll put that, that'll be my bottom. And I got uh, drilled for four feet. So yeah, it's all coming together good. Okay, so I finished the assembly of the last two boards they weren't done and I'm just starting to do wiring uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire it up as a as an assembly and then just put drop the whole thing in the problem I'm having with some of this stuff is it's not really a problem it just adds extra work for me is these voltmeters um, they have a real cheesy connector on the back for the high current it's supposed to be able to feed 10 amps through this thing I wouldn't trust these little connectors for 10 amps. What I'm doing is removing them, soldering the wires directly to the board, and that way I'm not going to have any um, high resistance uh, connections or any hot spots like that. So I'm going to do that, and then each each uh, <coughs> each um, voltmeter has going to be taking power from its from its electronic load board. So I got the ground. Attach the ground and power wires, and then uh, this will go with the sense wire goes on the input. I'll get to that. The um, other than that, everything's pretty straightforward. I have not put any thought into cooling yet. I've just been working on the chassis. I got standoffs for all the boards put in. I got the front panel all cut, and uh, I was test fitting a few things here and there. But um, you got to remember when you start cutting big gaping holes in, in one of these panels, this gets really weak. So you got to be careful you don't push on it and cave it in or anything like that. So um, my plan is just to build this all as an assembly and then just drop it into the thing. Like I said, I have lots of room for cooling. Um, I have uh, some heat sinks. I might use one of these. Let me just hang on here. I'm thinking of going this route. I have a server heat sink. These are thermocores. Um, not cheap units because they have the uh, the copper heat pipes in the, in the built into the back of them to uh, distribute the heat. So what I'm thinking of doing is using one of these, just one, I know it's kind of an ugly thing, but if I can get this in here, um, let's see here, get this out of the way, or crush something, have that assembled in there, have all my MOSFETs converge onto it and I'd have to clap them down somehow. Doesn't look like there's much room for tapping and drilling holes, so I don't know if I'll go this road yet. I still haven't decided. And then uh, it would just be one single fan on one end, either sucking the air or, or pushing it through, something like that. I'll have to cut this open, and then I'll have all the air going through. Um, might do something like that. I got lots of room. I got room to do all this different things. Or I could put it in this way. Have the air flowing. Which way is the air flowing? This doesn't matter anyway. I'll just put it here. Put it like that. 
air flows through on the uh, provides the cooling I need. That's one, one option. Um, another option that I could use a pair of these. The problem with using more than one heat sink is I only have one fan controller and the fan controller has only one um, sense input that I am aware of. I really haven't really looked at it, but uh, if I can find it here, I can look at it. But uh, the problem with using multiple um, temperature sensors is that I have to figure out, okay, how do I get them to trigger at certain levels and stuff. And I just don't want to complicate this any more than I have to. I just want to keep it simple. This power supply I was looking at might not be adequate because it's only 5 volts and I don't know if I can jack it up to 12. I'll still experiment with that. But I still have other power supplies here. I have 24 volt ones. I got uh, multiple, multiple voltage. Let me look. This one here, for example, uh, outputs uh, 24 volts and 32 volts. It's got uh, two and a half amp fuse on the output and a two amp fuse on the output. So I think it's got a little bit of power behind it. It's a nice unit. Small enough, it'll fit inside here wherever I put it. You can mount it on the side of the chassis or on the top. But um, 24 volts. I don't have to use 12 volts. I can use 24 volts on uh, on these boards, and I believe for the voltmeters as well. I think they can take up to uh, 24 volts. Um, I would just need to find a 24 volt fan, and I'm pretty sure I have some kicking around here. I got 12s. I can get 24s. The problem with using this heatsink is uh, how do I mount the 16 transistors? I guess I could do it like this. I don't know if 16 transistors would fit on one, one side. Probably yeah, it would be tight and I'd have to figure out a way of uh, thermally connecting this to the thermocore so that it stays cool. But uh, I still haven't got to that point so let me think about that some more. I'm going to continue with the wiring and we'll uh, worry about that stuff later. All right, I'm just uh, bench testing stuff here and trying to get things to resemble a working project, but uh, I'm running into problems already. I um, I got this meter wired in with this load. This this load is not taking any load right now. I got a I got a eight ohm resistor here as my load, and I got it wired in. I'm, it says it's drawing uh, 785 milliamps, which is correct, but I can't get the voltmeter to work. If I take the voltmeter and connect it to the input voltage, I get nothing. The only way I can get the voltmeter to work is if I connect it back to the meter's own power supply. If I touch it here, there you can see it's it's working. 12.4 volts, 784 milliamps, and it's drawing 9.7 watts. But um, I can't seem to figure out how to get this voltmeter to work on a um, uh, voltage other than its own. So uh, this might be a deal breaker for this one, I don't know. I'll have to put my thinking cap on and think of this one, how to fix it. <laughs> 